Hi friends, today I will going to show you the mean stack example project. In this video, I am going to show one thing the server side rendering. For that, I have created the files. I will show you the files. Here, I named the project name as mean stack example. Under this mean stack example project folder, I have two folders. One is client, one is server. And this server folder will serve the server side rendering. So for that, I need a first server file. So in the server file, I am doing the database connection operations. For that, we need database. So here I am using the MongoDB database. The MongoDB database, it's a free for us. You can try them for a free. So here, this is the MongoDB URL. Here you can create a free database for your local purposes. So here I have mentioned the MongoDB URI. So this will help us to connect with our database to local. How it happens? This URL will be going under the uh, here I have a database uh, uh, menu. In this menu, I have a one database. Here I am going to click on this cluster part. So this will show the entire view, um, overview of this cluster. So totally they are calling as a clusters. So here we can create a lot of databases. In this here, you have the name as command line tools tab. Under this tools tab, connect to your cluster option. If you click on connect instructions, they will show you, you the details, how we can connect with our local data. I'm using this drivers option. Here they are specified the Node.js version, which version we have to use, how to install into our local, local system. And this is the URI we need to use to connect from local to this MongoDB database. I have copied this uh, URI and pasted it here. So this will help them to connect with our database. So once done, please click on close, then go to our file. So here I have created the, uh, I have mentioned the function name is connect to database. This connect to database function is mentioned in database file. So this database file shows uh, once connection established to the database, then we have to create the database name. Under the database, we have to create our collections. Here I have created one collection named as employee. This employee collection contains three fields one is name and position and level for that i have created this interface for this collection named as um, this employee interface contains name position level and id is auto generated one by mongo uh, so once this connection happens this schema will be created under the employee collection next this employee root file will sh will uh, get uh, the post actions it's like uh, we can add the employee we can edit the employee options we can list all the employees we can filter the employees we can retrieve the particular employee so this kind of stuffs this kind of retrieving responses of backside will be written under this file you can see this get method will get all the employees under the employee schema and this get with the particular id so this will retrieve particular employee information and this post this post will add the employee information we can create new employee to that collection and this put method we can update the particular employee details and here we are using delete so delete usually we can delete the data from the database with the particular id so these actions are written under the employee root file. So here we can see the post actions. So once it's all done, here you can see 
yeah we are using express server to run our server application so here this express server is running on 5200 port number i will show you if we are uh, running this command this command this uh, console will be printed here once server is started rendering we can see oh, oh once again i will show you my client side so i have created my client in the another command prompt i have running the client side as well so here i am going to add a new employee and senior add so this data will going to reflect on our database if you go to this collections you can see the main stack example as a database name under this i have a employee schema collection this schema has one data called as mutupriya developer senior so if i have created one more uh, person so this will also uh, generated here if you refresh this page you can see the another data wow see one more data also came so we in this case we are using the add operation so you can see if you edit this you can see the edit option and if you see the if i am going to delete this employee employee will be deleted here as well as in the database see only one data is available now this way we can connect our local database to our angular application so once server side rendering is done we can make client side part first you have to create the server side then you have to focus on the client side so in this video i cover the server side rendering op rendering options if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible thank you for watching this video i hope it will help you lot thank you have a good day bye bye